Hello everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 2. Today we are going to be looking at the livery editor. Uh, it'll be just a quick one today, just relivering this ICE3. Um, so this is our, our ICE3, it's in Currently no livery, so for, to start off with, we can put a layer of paint on it. So I will start off with this um, yellow colour, and we can start off by adding a... Actually, no, we want to uh, add that yellow to all of the cars. That's not exactly the right colour. That's more or less right paint right and then wait till it matches paint wait till it matches good any more yes um right wait till it matches cool here we can wait till it matches um it's pretty accurate i will leave it there uh sh how many more coaches are there on this train it's quite long um yeah that's it okay now we can start to add ourselves some layers so we can add a shape text or sign so i'll start off with a shape um i'm gonna go a triangle and we can move the camera around. And we will, when it decides to move across, we can is that good? Is that good? Is that good? Um, so that's all right. We can rotate that one and then make it big. Uh, and we can rotate it a bit more. And then see how that looks. Yeah, now we can project that so it goes to the other side. And that is our nose cone. Now I can change the colour of that to a nice black. I think that would look nice. And then we can place that one down. And now we want to add another layer. This will be another shape. It'll be another triangle. Uh, we are going to change sides to this one again. Zoom out. This one is going to be white again, and we're going to sort of make it sort of in the theme of the old Southwest Trains livery. That's what I'm aiming for here. When it moves over, that is. All right, and then this one we can stick there. We can rotate it round so it's on a slightly large angle. So I'm thinking something like that. Then make it bigger again. And then we want to project that onto the other side. See how that looks. And now I want to place that one and move it there. And move. And now we have ourselves a quite nice looking front end. Uh, so now we have that, we can start to work. Uh, should we add more shapes? I mean, we could. I think we might add a bar running along the bottom. So we can have one of them. Uh, we can zoom out. Stick that one right on the bottom and then we can um, warp it slightly so it's 
l as long as the entire carriage. Not really, but whatever. And then we want to edit that one and project to the other side. Place. And now we have a bar running along the bottom of our coach. All right, so now we have that copied on both sides. We can uh, put a new shape on the doors. Uh, so we can get a shape. It's going to be a square. You can select that. Right, and this will probably be probably be a black element, I think. I can drag the that over there, right on that centered, so I can make it bigger to fill there. And then we want T, we want to scale that X. Right, it's actually really perfect. Um, confirm. Then that should be on the other side. It is. Right, now I want to place that. Uh, copy and then edit you. Going to drag you over. Actually, no, there's only one door per carriage, isn't there? Yes, yeah, so we can actually get rid of you and just copy that to the other car. Uh, now I want to move you across. No, I don't. I want to move you the other way. Yeah. That's the one. Moving these takes quite a bit of time. Right, get that lined up. Good. Um, we can copy that to other cars. Wait, no. Oh, that's cheeky. That car does have two doors. Okay. No, so that car. Um, no, we do want this car. No, okay, so we can't copy it to itself. So we need to copy. Um, and then edit. Move that across. Right, let's zoom in for this. Right, touch there. Good. Right, now next. No, uh, I'm confused. Which, what do we want? Uh, this is a bit, uh, that's a leading coach, which means that. Okay, so I need to go. Right there, layers we can copy to another car. We'll get another car that has doors like that. Yeah. Any other cars that have doors on that side, you do. Any other car that has doors on this side, you do. Any other car that has a door on this side, no. Okay. And then we want 
But no, we don't want that. We want to go that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Layers, you, I want to, no, I want you, and I want to copy that to another car. You have a door there, copy to another car. You don't have a door there, you do. Uh, I can copy you to that car, we can copy you to that car. No, we're not copying you to that car. All right, now all that's left is the text and uh, the final um, bar right at the bottom. So you can get uh, to that bar. You want to copy to another car. I want to see how that looks because it might not be. Uh, yeah, no, it's all right. Right, you. Right. Uh, and I noticed that one of these cars uh, has a door in the middle of it. Uh, that car. Okay, so I need to copy the front car, which has... No, it doesn't, uh, but that's the closest to it, so we can grab uh, that. We can copy to another car. Must be the next one. Yep, yeah, it is. And want to get that, and then edit, move it across. Place. That's um, that's quite a small door. Is it? Uh, is there a different one on the other side? All right, there. Place. Oh, it's different on both sides. I see. I'm going to get rid of that one because it's not actually a proper door. Okay, so now we've done that, uh, we can put a uh, some text on the bottom of our car. So we want text, we want a T, want it on this side. Right, and we can put it just so it's above there. We can stick that right there underneath the window. Right, now we need a H lowercase. Right, brilliant. Now the up lowercase letters are slightly bigger than the uppercase letters, but that's fine. We can leave it. It's all right. And we can put that one there. Try and keep equal-ish spacing between them. Uh, then we want another T. And we're going to make this one black and now you want a r awesome i think we can probably move you a bit further in like that can add an a um Gonna move side, place, and now I need an I. Place, now I need an N. And right 
Now I need a G. And we'll leave a larger space because there is a space there. Right, I want a U. It's a bit further down. Right, um, good, and I want a Y. Move that one across. Right, good, I'm not going to be able to see the bottom of the Y, that's just something you're going to have to cope with. Right, we'll make the Y black again. Right. There. Done. Cool. Uh, we could try and we could have a look at what the signs are. So got that, got that, got. Ah, I see what these are. Ah, I see what this is. Um, could get you no. Uh, no, we're all right. So that is my livery. You can save that one. And we can use the scenario designer, as it is called, to put it on a route. So if we go to that, we can go to scenario designer. Uh, we want to add one going to be the train guy four scenario um, scenario D for demo uh, add we can start at Cologne finish at Arken confirm we want the times two Stick that in TTG for livery, driver service. Uh, that is a passenger service that will start at that time. Now we want another service. This will be a local train starting on platform 11. And it will go to uh, Durham, stopping at all of the stations. Confirm, confirm, that'll be the talent two. Give it two times in my livery. This will be AI1. That is a passenger service that will leave at that same time as us. And we can also add a normal, yeah, we can add a normal AI. So that can be Cologne, that platform we can go to Juran, stopping at both places along the way. That will be a 442 in normal livery, AI2, that is a passenger service that'll leave five minutes after us. And we'll add another one, which will be um, Cologne to Arken. 
no stops, and that'll be a 406 in normal livery. The AI 3. That will also be that leaving at five minutes after us. That is our scenario. And we can give it a test. Excited to see how this turns out. This is the most scenario. This is, yeah, this is the most AI I've ever put in a scenario. This isn't really saying much because it's the. It's only the second scenario that I've made. No, it's the fourth. Okay. So we are 400 metres long, 16 cars, 870 tonnes, and we're going to Arken. So we can get the lights on, that on, unlock that. Oh, hang on. No, we're in the wrong train. Well done. Well done, me. It's really clever. Okay, so we need to go here. We need to go tools, scenario designer, uh, you that, edit, driver service, edit details, you are the player service. Good. Right, now we can go. That didn't take long. No, it didn't take long at all. Alright, we are in and we're in the right train now. Look at that. The church bell's ringing. Uh, unlock. Right, now I want AFB. AFB. Right, A F B to that. A F B. Um what else do we want? We want L Z B on that on train break on and we are ready to go once the doors are ready to close. And somewhere here as well, we should also be able to see. Yeah, that's the. Somewhere here, that's the normal talent, which means that over here is the talent that I reliveried. Is in another custom livery, and it's about to go as well. So we can watch this one leave, and then we can depart ourselves. This is again my custom livery. This is the train guy four on the side. It says that on all of the coaches, but only on one side. On the other side, it says T24. So there you see, it says T24. Love the new sounds. Alright, now we've got to catch up to that so we can start to go. Love the brake squeal. Right, so the talent has just gone. We can set the... We want the PID... You know, we want the PID set. We are going to Brussels. Brussels MIDI, and now... It should say that we are off to Brussels, and it does. For power, got to catch up to that talent. And by God, will we catch up to it? All right. 
so we won't linger around them too long. We can, like drive about. We'll get up to 250, and then I'll bring it bring it back down. You won't do the full run. So you can already see the talents had to stop because that is the all stations talent. I'm thinking screenshot. Oh, it barely fits. Barely fits. That was an alright screenshot. Right. Now we can get the AFB up. Wonderful train as it departs. Really pleased with how this turned out. It's my best delivery. It's really, really simple. Oh, alright. So the talent's off. It has much better acceleration than us, but a much lower top speed. Uh, any second now, it's not super close, um, but in approximately 10 seconds, LZB will kick in. Uh, so we can, it should be like right about now. You can see the induction loop there, so that means it's on. Set the AFB to full speed. And now it's effectively driving itself. Thirty now up to 140, and we should soon be able to get the clear to go to 160. Yeah, there we are. And right about now, our custom livery train should just be on. Oh, no, it's still a while out, so we can head back to the cab. And in a second, we'll be cleared for. 2.50 Right we can get an exterior shot now When the rear of the train passes the point we can accelerate
because I'd be off and go a lot further, but we won't. Oh, wow. That's fast. Can we catch up to the train? No, we can't. Uh, with that said, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.